Hey YouTube, I'm trying to get the glare off the front of this radio. This is my Micro Bit X or U Bit X. I put it together in October. This is November. There's tuned to WWV, and I still got a few more little things to do to it. I got to put a fused a fuse holder in it, some power poles, uh, the microphone amp is pretty weak or the microphone cartridge maybe and this uh, this Beofang mic that comes with the kit it just doesn't drive it very well at all it puts out about 15 watts on 80 meters CW but on phone it's just a, a watt or two so and the audio is pretty puny so I still got some tweaking to do uh, one thing of note is when uh, you get one of these things and some of the instructions that comes with it says do not try to align it because it's already pre-aligned and they mean that because uh, really uh, you go into alignment screen or you go when you hold the button in here all right and you go into set frequency uh, I was just playing around with it to explore so you, you hit that set frequency button and it goes straight into uh, the frequency calibration menu Let's see if I can turn this a little different. Um, can't read it. At least I can't read it. Through the camera anyway. But, uh, but as soon as you click that knob and you touch it a little bit, you're off frequency. And so, and it's... I use WWV to zero beat it to uh, go back. But... Uh, I found out that being in a factory for 33 years, when I start to zero beat that frequency and I get dialing down where I'm really close, about the last 100 hertz or maybe a little more than that, I can't hear it anymore. So, I used to be able to hear 60 cycle hum or 60 hertz. I can't hear that anymore. So, uh... I'm nearly 58 years old, and I've been working in a noisy factory for 33 years. So, But I got it as close as I can get it. I think I'm all right. Um, these guys on 7200 sound pretty good. And there's another example. Uh, this radio doesn't have an automatic gain control. So... The automatic gain control sees the sees the incoming signal voltage and reduces the gain. And all your modern radios, you can have somebody that's S5 and then somebody else that's S9. And the AGC circuit levels all that out. Well, this doesn't have that. So when you get a group of people like this, you're kind of feathering the volume control up and down. Uh, when the big loud guy comes on, he's got a little distortion. So you gotta turn him down. And when the little weak guy comes on, you gotta turn him up. But that that's not a big deal. Um, and there's there's upgrades for that. There's some AGC circuits you can build. There's some audio derived AGC circuits that work real well. Uh, it's really a bigger problem on single sideband than it is CW, although I'm not really a, a CW guy at this point. So there's a lot of upgrades for this radio. I want to try to get it working in a suitable condition first before I do any of that. But, uh, oh, and if you got some friends that uh, want to get on HF or they want to upgrade their tickets to get on HF, uh, don't show them this frequency, 7200. Um, if they think that ham radio is better than uh, CB and, and nonsense, then don't bring them to this frequency. So... Uh, but that's where I'm at now. I think I got it dialed in pretty good. So uh, that's it for now. See you later.